Hey, hey, hey there humans and aliens, it's your boy Security Catlin, and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, this is What If Endeavor Trained Deku Part 6 with the unofficial finale. The unofficial finale is the villain ending, so if you voted hero or you just want to hear all of the announcements that I made in the other video, you're going to want to clink, click the link. In the description, not going to the link in the description. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna make this as quickly as I can. So, Deku was kidnapped in the last episode, and Bakugo is confused as to why they are still going to have the uh, tournament. Still confused as to why they're going to have the tournament. But they do have it, and so Bakugo decides he's going to try his best, and Ida decides to try his best too, and Uraraka decides to try her best too. Anyway, and so in the race, I'm going to say just about everything was the same, because, um... I mean, the main person that would have been a difference would be, uh, Deku. And I'm gonna say that Todoroki is, like, furious at this point. So, yeah, he did the full-on freeze everybody's feet into the ground thing. Because he is angry. He's so mad. So, for the next thing, which is... Oh, well, you guys know what it's called. I can't remember the name, but you guys know what it's called. It would be awkward if you didn't, but it's called that. And so I'm gonna say Todoroki isn't actually, hmm, maybe Bakugo is actually in first from the race. So he's kind of in the same situation that Deku was in. And Uraraka decides to help him and be on his team. And then uh, Kirishima also decides to help because he noticed that the quirks go together well. And uh, I'm gonna say Mei Hatsume also helps. And I think that's the right amount of people. Anyway, so that's their team. And uh, Todoroki constantly tries to go after Bakugo because Todoroki kind of views Bakugo as the reason that Deku went missing and is just furious at him. But in the end, uh, Bakugo uh, is still able to move on to the next thing, the next part of the tournament. And yeah. Okay, so for the most part, I'm just gonna give Bakugo the same fights as uh, Deku because if... Well, I'm gonna, I guess, switch it up a bit. I'm gonna have him fight... Sh sh Shinso. He's gonna fight Shinso first, and then he's gonna fight Kirishima, and then he's gonna fight Todoroki. And I think that's the right number of people. If not, we're just gonna say he fights Uraraka too. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, but <laughs> at this point I've gotten too far. Anyway, and so... He wins against Shinso because he Odro uh tells him about Shinso's quirk. Anyway, um and Bakugo wins against Kirishima with kind of the same brute force because I'm gonna say that uh, Kirishima and Bakugo made a promise to both try their bests. Their best the best. Their best. Their best their there's something. And uh, next is the final, and it's going to be Todoroki versus Bakugo. And, and Todoroki, at the beginning of the fight, is about to cause just like this giant ice wall, just like the fight against Saro. But first, a giant portal opens, and the person that walks out onto the field is none other than Deku. And Todoroki just like smiles and immediately starts running towards him but Deku meets him with flames giant flames Deku sets the entire arena on fire and he smiles at Bakugo and Todoroki and he kind of laughs get ready for the fight of your life I sure hope you two can learn how to work together <laughs> you know what it doesn't matter if you can work together. There's no way you're going to defeat me. And so Todoroki uses a lot of ice and Bakugo uses a lot of explosions, but 
Deku just is brushing them off like nothing. Finally, Bakugo yells, Why? Why did you become a villain? I thought... I thought you wanted to be a hero. That was what you were saying, right? Deku chuckles again. Maybe I used to want to be a hero. But honestly, look around you. You're the ones fighting me. Where are the heroes now? Are they really that helpful? And right as Deku says that, All Might restrains him and the battle is over. So <laughs> Deku is taken into custody and and Bakugo still visits him and so does Todoroki. And everything seems to be better. And the rest of school goes on kind of normally. And I think that's where I'm going to leave off today. Anyway, if you liked this video, please like. And if you want more of this series where it's the villain version, then you will need to comment down below saying we would like more. Or I'll, I will also put a poll. But... Other than that, this is the finale. If you guys want more, then it's just going to be the season finale, I guess. But uh, I think that's all for now, humans and aliens. Peace! Peace. Good job if you made it this far back. So, Todoroki and Bakugo go and visit Deku maybe a few months later. But when they visit him, something's weird. It's almost as if it's not him. And then they realize that the person there isn't Deku. And they knew that they captured the real Deku. But the person in the cell was none other than Himiko Toga, who took his place at some point. So the real Deku is out there somewhere. Good luck, humans and aliens. Peace.